One year ago, this house in Pluto Street in Elsie's River was thrust into the spotlight for several weeks following the disappearance of three-year-old Courtney Peters. Family, friends, neighbours and even strangers from the surrounding areas scrambled to search for the little girl. But as the days went by, hope dwindled and more than a week later, on the 13th of May, her little body was found in a plastic bag in a nearby industrial area in Beaufort Circle. What followed then was an even more harrowing ordeal for Courtney's family as details emerged about the gruesome death and the alleged killer who lived in the same house. And I was afraid of it. I was afraid of it. I was afraid of it. And as I got so long, I was afraid of it. As I was afraid of it, I was afraid of it. Ik kom hier wat allemaal zeggen, ik wil niet praten over die. Dat is nog te zeer. De search took 10 agonizing days. It ended here on this open field about a kilometer away from her Pluto Road home. Courtney's body was found here. She had been raped and murdered. Her family, neighbors, and people from the area piled flowers at the spot where she was found. They are dried out now, but still bear testimony to a crime that shook the whole community to its core. When I come to Elsie's River, there must be a change. Now, the community told me yeah, they need a satellite police station. And then he agreed to me that we will bring a satellite police station in Elsie's River. I have a foundation. I will send the chairperson of the foundation to meet with you to discuss what can be done. They are looking for a house for them. Whatever we can do, I will be with you. They go to Zuma. He had a promise to me. He had a promise to me. He the promise of a mobile police station in the Alsis River community was realized in the wake of Courtney's death. A mobile police station was, was given to the community of Alsis and uh, a ribbon was cut and it was handed over. And uh, I should think that what was one part of the service uh, and the promises that have, the community have, have welcomed. And I think it has, it, has, it has made some great strides in terms of reducing the levels of crime and gangsterism in the area. Alsis River CPF Deputy Chair Imran Mukadam, however, doesn't feel the mobile station has made an impact on crime prevention. When Minister Kilim Balula, um, you know, handed it over, it was uh, seen as a positive move. Um, it is visible, it is uh, at hotspots. Um, it is occasionally, it's even at the day hospital, it's used for more for affidavits and for people to get access to the facilities that they can't access at the police service centre, so that brings it nearer to the homes. And um, in terms of the, the actual use in crime prevention, uh, we don't believe it's really made a difference because the officers stationed at the mobile police station aren't really able to change the situation on the ground uh, as much as we would want uh, the, 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 you know, the, the, police, the satellite police station because they deploy the, the satellite police station at a, a particular spot but there's no patrol vehicles assigned to it, uh, no not enough patrol vehicles assigned to that particular satellite station to really uh, um, bring crime in the area under control. Alsis River residents differ on whether there's been much of a difference in policing since a year ago. Very quiet now, you know, they up and up, they operate here. I am very happy for them, they are, they are doing their duty now. Not, not really, I didn't see any changes of that, but we as a community, we also, we work together, but I don't think they give their, their thing to stand with the community here. It's one year later. And the Peters family is still struggling to come to terms with the loss of Courtney. And with the alleged killer's child starting, old wounds are likely to be reopened once details about her murder emerge. But while the family is still in mourning, the Alsis River community and the police are hoping the National Police Ministry 
brings in much needed boots on the ground as was promised last year.